La Condesa in Mexico City. The area is considered to be fashionable and popular with younger business people, students, and pet lovers. It features a large number of international restaurants, bars, and nightclubs. Now, is this what you imagine of Mexico City? No, it's actually so cute. It reminds me a lot of Barcelona. So much greenery. This is like the very quaint, beautiful, safe touristy area. I love Condesa. It's really nice. <laughs> Talk to a local when you're booking these places because they give the best suggestions. John Barr and his brother Alan Barr and Todd. So helpful with booking the area that we're going to live in. We're going to visit two parks today. Right now, we're in Parque España and we're going to check out Parque Mexico. So Parque España, it's like a dog park. There's so many dogs here. These two parks are located in Colonia Hippodromo, which is in the district of Condesa. A dog running through water. They don't have this luxury in New York. This is such a nice park for dogs. Dog paradise in this park right here. Now we're taking a stroll in Parque Mexico, which is Mexico Park. It's one of the largest greens in the city and it's located right smack dab in the middle of Condesa. This park is huge. Of course, it's the larger of the two, but we just found out it's like 22 acres. Yeah, I guess it's like a mini Central Park or a Prospect Park in Brooklyn. How many acres is Central Park actually? That's a good question. I'm gonna get Central Park at 1,500 acres. So Central Park is actually 840 oh, okay. acres. Overshot it. I saw that number and I was like, whoa, time to explore. There's a lot of great art deco in here so let's go check out that artwork and there's live music Ooh, enjoy the greenery relax breathe in the fresh air yeah it's a great spot look at this colorful fun park if i was a kid this is like my dream park right here this whole park is very lush but not just this park if you just walk on the street of condesa there's plants everywhere pots of plants flowers in front of every restaurant look an exercise place we should go exercise this is an actual workout gym it's a shame that we don't have this in new york city yeah they have it in china because People can't wait to sue people for getting hurt in parks. That's why we can't have anything nice around there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I think this is your body weight. Yeah. That's smart. Wow, that's cool. It's so easy for you. Yeah, because I'm so strong. <laughs> There's tutorials. Okay, let's do it. Oh. One is good. One pull up for every taco. How many tacos did you eat? I only ate three so far. <laughs> oh, wait, how do people get on here? You have to push yourself up. Oh, shoot. That's Never mind. <laughs> Target acquired. For real this time. Ah uh, yes. Ah uh, yes. Exercising. One taco. <laughs> two tacos. No, you wish. <laughs> How many times do I have to do this to burn off? 200. A One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Alright, uh, that's barely a bite of the tortilla. That's like the sauce, like a drip of sauce. <sighs> oh. You're actually getting a workout in. I am. You go. Hell no. <laughs> Target acquired. Ben's doing all the body weight stuff and I'm doing all the balancing. Wow, I'm so fast. Run, run, run. And you can also do it backwards. Oh, no. Oh, that was scary. That was scary. Oh, you look so cool. I took better. Oh, even forward is scary like this. You got your next Target? Ah, uh, sure. This park is amazing. You can bring your dogs, have a good time, enjoy live music. There's a lot of trees, a lot of water, enjoy a good workout in. It's a bazaar, so they're selling a lot of crafts in there. Oh, what is this? Oh, chips. Mm, it's yummy. Here, try it. Mmm, blue bien, gracias. Blue popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Good? Mm. This, so far, it's one of the greenest cities I've ever seen. Everywhere just full of lush green plants and they're all thriving. I like it, it's so pretty. Yeah, it's full of greenery, cafes, and color. It's very colorful too. After an eventful morning in Condesa, we went on a food tour with a few friends. We ate everything from Chinese food to authentic Mexican street food, such as quesadillas and elotes, then finished up with some helados. It's our second night here in Mexico City and we found this beautiful Starbucks walking distance from our Airbnb. We have two floors here. We're in this outdoor balcony now, the lights, the view outside, and jazz music playing. Another beautiful morning here in Condesa, Mexico City. Yes, we're heading to a cafe right now. Living in Condesa is actually perfect for us because there's so many cafes near us. It's a great meeting spot to meet up with our friends. Everything's so lush and green and it's safe. 
We're at Perfida Bistro Cafe and the people are so nice here. Let's which has salsa on it and cheese, a lot of cheese. Look at that. Cheese ball! Mmm, delicious. Never had eggs drowning in salsa. Not spicy, only a little bit. All right, I got the rancheros, which is two sunny side of eggs inside this salsa, spicy hot sauce. When they say spicy, got me a little nervous, so I'm very curious. Also, look how beautiful this place is. The staff are super nice, it's super quiet in the morning, so lush everywhere. It's like I'm in a combination of European country and a freaking rainforest. All right, get this, get this. Oh. Nice. Ranchero, let's get it. Ciao, gracias. That's what you say. That's Ciao. cool. It's like, yo, peace. <laughs> oh, spicy. This is a hearty breakfast. And the soft tortillas on the bottom, actually. That makes a lot more sense. But Mexican food always likes to push the limit a little. It always works. It's juice time. I got the verde, which has so many healthy fruits in here. We saw the grapefruit, pineapple, and a lot more. Huh? What do I have? Wait, hold on. As yes. you can see, Ming does all the research. <laughs> so yours is the red juice. I don't know where it is. But this was recommended. Yeah, she said this is a really healthy drink. Yeah, she lists all the ingredients and one just gets better than the other. So yeah, I yeah. Try it out. I thought this was healthy. I think that's the healthy one. It might be. Like, if that's said. a healthy pro, this will be the healthy extreme. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. This tastes like a, like a green juice, but sweeter because it's a lot more fruit in here. This is so good. Back in New York, all the juices that like to go so hard with the spices. Like, sometimes like I'm hard to finish it. Yeah, it's good. But here they have all these good ingredients, but they still make it really tasty. Right? It's yeah. tasty. It's like I don't have to take breaks drinking it. Mmm, these are both great. We came here, we're like, we gotta drink a lot of juices. Yeah, because, <laughs> you know, fruits are expensive in the States for whatever reason. And here it's, we came, we were walking, we're like, fruit stand, we yeah. gotta go. And there was a long line. Yeah, the amount of fruits and lime in this city is insane. Okay, man, you gotta try this cafe de la casa con chocolate. I tried it already. I drank like a little bit and it has chocolate in the coffee. This is like one of my favorites. You're not even a coffee person. I'm not. I'm now definitely you are. not. You're a coffee person when in Mexico. Oh, I'm very surprised the bitterness actually carried through. It might be dark chocolate, actually. Yeah, that's why I love it. It is. It's like a hot chocolate slash coffee. It's tortilla time. And yours only. She, he said no to mine. Because <laughs> yours already has the tortilla that's in true. it. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I love this dish. The salsa is delicious. Delici also. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I really like this breakfast item. It's so good. Getting a good balance of eggs, egg white, and egg yolk in here. I freaking blacked out. I was like, egg yellow. Egg white and egg yellow. <laughs> All right, let's give this great tradition a try. I know these street food could be a little messy, but I haven't got any on my shirt yet. Fingers crossed. Muy delicioso. Muy bueno. Me gusta. Ben said he likes his more. Let's see. It's just good too. Yours is spicy. So mine's not the spicy one. The red hot salsa sauce. I thought mine was the spicy one. I like it. No, I like mine more. I notice that every place is so generous with the tortillas and we never get to finish. Oh, last one. <laughs> I eat. Did you eat it by itself? No, I put made tacos. Can I just do this? Is that, mm, is that I restable? don't know, man. He said, he said I can. He said I can with mine. <laughs> so you have to use my sauce. Ooh, I gotta eat all the finely made tortillas here before I can anymore. Right, then we had to go to buy the supermarket one. Yep, to the stop and shop one. This carrot cake is kind of big for breakfast, but this carrot cake is recommended. It has coconut flakes on it too. Where they sold me at the coconut. <laughs> it's very moist. It has a lot of ingredients made with love. Holy moly, this is so good. Uh -huh. Coconut flakes, that's a very nice crunchy texture. It's so good. I like lost for words. Yeah, Ming, you're a celebrity? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ciao. Thank you. Ciao. Now I wonder, do they want pictures with us because we're filming or because we're Asians? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nicest people. Nicest people. Only a five minute walk from our Airbnb. Yeah. So. These little things make the experience so much better. Another day of us exploring Mexico City. We visited Palanco, got Ben's shoe shined, and had some more amazing tacos. Another night here in Condesa. Uh, gonna get some work done, and instead of Starbucks, we're gonna try a new cafe. Is it a cafe? It seems so. Oh wait, cafe Beria. <laughs> that means cafeteria. So also sounds like a library. Mm -hmm. Libraria. Maybe that's like a play of libraria and cafe. cafe. I see other people working on their laptops, so I think that's a good sign. 
grande el naranjoria. Muy bien. Dos pepitos. Okay. ¿Es todo? Eh, Todos. Okay. Con permiso. Gracias. Gracias. Good job. Thank you. Don't have Fernando or Todd here. So it's time without a guy. <laughs> So Ben got the carrot and orange juice and I got pink grape juice. We love juice here. Um, so fresh, so good. Oh, nothing beats fresh fruit and vegetables. Alright, time to get some work done. There's literally cafes on every block here. It's so beautiful. Condesa is really beautiful. You walk around, you see people biking, walking their dogs. In the morning, it's not so hot. It's tree-lined. Really cool, nice weather. And so many cute boutiques. This is honestly the place you want to live in, take walks in. Doesn't get better than this. Yes. We met Karen at Cafe B, so, so nice. She's gonna <laughs> offer to help us with anything, which, wow. <laughs> and she encouraged you to speak Spanish. Yes, yes, <laughs> she speaks great Spanish. <laughs> Don't give up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, have a good one. Thanks. For breakfast, we got the chilaquiles with pavo, which is turkey meat, and chilaquiles con pollo, which is chicken. 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 Yes. <laughs> <laughs> also got the fresh berries, smoothie, and a matcha frap. Chilaquiles. Yum. So these are like cut up tortilla strips. Yum. Let's get some chicken. Mmm. It's a pretty heavier meal for breakfast, but it's on the breakfast menu. It's delicious. Cafe B. All right. How do I look sitting by the street, risking my life for you? Because it's our anniversary, duh. Yeah, happy anniversary. How fitting, we're sitting here in beautiful Mexico City. All right, what did I have? Ming. Something con pollo. Chilaquiles. Chilaquiles y pollo. It's beautiful. I look tired. I feel like we're getting more worn down every day. <laughs> Ooh, you just clicked in my mind what you said. Chopped up tortillas. I didn't know what it was. I legit thought it was some sort of noodle dish. It's pretty saucy too. So they make the tortillas crispy, fun to bite into, and then they add chicken. This is like a Mexican congee. Yeah, probably. It's really good. Matcha frappe. It looks very foamy on top. Actually, both of these drinks have a lot of foam on top. Oh wait, I need a straw. Right here. Nice. These are cute. Mmm, this matcha tastes more coconut, like a little more coconutty or cinnamony. That's what I mean. Refreshing. It's a little different than other matcha fruits. It's not as sweet. Boom, I'm gonna try this one. Whoa. I'm literally a fan of every drink in this country. Gosh, how is everything so good? I can't hear you. How is everything so good? <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally a fan of every single drink in this country. How is everything so good? I love it, but I'm so tired. Who's that? <laughs> it's you! <laughs> These are great choices. Uh, everything is a great choice. That's what I said. You are correct, sir. So sweet, everybody. Jorge came out and said, Todo bien? Todo bien. You see? Very good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I ordered the green verde. I mean, the verde, the chile. It is a little bit spicy, but there's also the red the chile, which is even more spicy. It's spicy. <laughs> it's not because it's our anniversary? No. Yeah. Why are you tearing up, though? I told you because it's spicy. Oh, and that's okay. why I'm drinking this. Oh, okay. It's not a cover up. No. Cap? No is cap. it no cap or cap? Lie is a cap. No cap is no lie. No cap? No cap. Oh, it's a Tesla. It's a Tesla. I don't feel safe sitting here. Can we switch? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love this place. Thank you so much, Jorge. Gracias a ustedes que estén bien. We're back again at this Cafe Viridia because it's one of the nicest in the area. I love the books. I love the environment, the drinks, the people. Alright, pick your juices, man. Time to pick some juices. The one day we're gonna look back at this video and say, dang, I really miss this cafe. That was a cool cafe. We got the mango smoothie and the cocoa matcha. We're splurging here tonight because it's our last night. Not your typical mango smoothie. It actually doesn't taste like mangoes we have. The mangoes in Mexico City are a little different tasting. Cocoa matcha! Nacho drink is very icy. Mm. Wow, it smells like a slushy. All right, time to get some work done. But we're leaving the cafe now at 11 p.m. as usual, right before they close. Mm -hmm. 